UK Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Champions Invitational is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company, and I'm alongside Rich Beam in the booth. Rich, let's get stuck into it. What's this opening hole like? Caramel Creek opening hole is a tough one. 452 yards, a very picturesque opening hole. Fairway dog legs from left to right. The fairway bunker down the right-hand side shouldn't see much action. Generous fairway just over that. Second shot plays back up the hill. There's a deep bunker waiting for any wayward shots over the right-hand side. An opening par four here is job well done. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Rich, what kind of mojo do you think this player's got after winning in their last start? This player has more confidence, I believe, than any other player in the field at the moment. This should be another good week for him. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. And down it goes. Starting the round at even par. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. Let's head over to the fifth. Getting ready to play their third. Ooh, oh, oh, you beauty, an eagle. And that'll promote a good move up the standings. Let's get back to it, shall we? This shot from the first cut of rough. Opting for the five wood. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. Oh, these are good for the momentum. These ones right on eight feet. Looking good. And in it goes for the par. So, no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. Teeing off here at the third hole. Going with the six iron here. Just needs this one to kick right. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Great touch. Really nicely played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. 
will hold. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Welcome to this par five hole. Nicely done. From about 200 yards out. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Always like the aggressive play, going forward in two and get rewarded for it. Oh, my, that's a putrid lie. Can he get out of here? Ball really burrowed into this bunker. Um, they're going to need to be quite careful as they as they exit this beach, guys. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Now six strokes back after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. Here's what Bryson DeChambeau managed just a short time ago. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Oh, that's a beauty. How about holding that one? Second shot here on the fifth. Oh, absolutely flushed. This putt to move into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Good looking putt. And down it goes. So that's back to back birdies. Back to back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Opting for the 9-iron. That's just inside the range. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. A chance for the top ten here if you can make this. Terrific roll. It even had a chance. And tapping it in for par. Currently two under for the day. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. No harm, no foul there with that shot. There's been some great action out on the course. Let's take a look at this highlight from another person's play. Ian Poulter with an outstanding shot here. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Yes, it's in. OK, let's get back to the action. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. Time you can make these putts, they'll certainly add up at the end of the day. Right on eight feet. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Yeah, nice mid range birdie putt that one. And that will take him to three under. He's currently tied for eighth. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Here we have a par five. 
Is it time to get after it or play it safe? Time for the second shot at the eighth. This one looks like it's heading left here, Rich. And here we are with the third shot. Only two shots off the pace. Wow, that almost went in the hole. A tie for fourth place if you can hold this putt. And that's their fourth booty of the day. To the top five he goes. Matthew Fitzpatrick is atop the leaderboard with a one-stroke lead. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Beautiful swing there. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Second shot here. Let's take a look at this from just a couple of moments ago. The scientist, Bryson DeChambeau, with a fantastic shot. Getting ready to play their third. Two strokes off the lead. Big putt for Parra coming up. That was a gallant attempt. And this one is for Bogey. And that putt will drop. Well done. This is the transition point of the round, making the turn, heading for home. How do you rate this player's performance so far? Three down, nine to go. This player is going to have to start taking some chances if he wants to win this tournament. Woo, back there, Horsey. Very well played. And now we go to the 11th, where this happened just a moment ago. Ian Poulter comes up with a beauty here. Well, that's a bonus. Mark that down on the card. Let's return to live play now. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Ooh, looks like about 30 feet, I'd say, to the cup. Get in. Well done. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Why not take another look at that effort? Matty Fitzpatrick currently in the lead. We've arrived at a par four hole. I've seen bigger slices at Artichoke Pizza. 
Well, it's a chance for a good shot here from the fairway bunker. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? If he makes this, he'll save his par. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. And that's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. In the bunker with their tee shot, and that is a very good save. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. This player needs to make it happen and now. They don't need a birdie. They need an eagle. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Yeah, they're in the sand, and it's sitting up pretty good in this sand. Pretty good lie. Trying to get to five under with this putt. Tracking. Gee, that's good play. Six birdies in a round. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. The player's left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. That's incredible. Oh, my God. A little puck shot here. Oh, yes! What a result! Fantastically played. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Going with the seven. That approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Not taking enough club to get it there. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Make this, and you'll move into a tie for third place. Nicely hold, and for par. Time to recap Bryson DeChambeau's effort from just a little while ago. I got to say, this is a 10 on the scale. Wonderful effort. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. We have a par four on this one. Mm -mm. A thing of beauty. Sitting at five under for the day. Currently tied for third. Opting for the six iron. Quality shot that one. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Ooh. Four feet to the cup. It's 
Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. Well hold. Just one off the lead after that hole. This hole here is a par four. That reminded me of the Big Easy. Silky smooth. It's been a good year. Three wins so far this season. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. And here we are with the third shot. They've hold it. That'll be for Birdie. That's a good way to move into the top ten. Oh, good look at Birdie here. He was on a good line. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And with that, now at five under with a few holes to play. They're going to have to dig deep to pull this one out. Let's see what they got. Matt Kucha currently leading the field. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Come on, that finish line's in sight. Let's power towards it. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Ooh, right by the hole. Okay, that hole's behind you now. Matt Kuchar is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-stroke lead. Here we have a par five. Oh, great swing there. Time for the second shot at the 17th. This is a spot they'd love to get up and down from. Just two shots off the pace. Nothing like a little pressure late in the day. Close was that to going in the hole. Great shot. Oh, good chance this one. Right on six feet. That's half a chance of being hold this one. Fair effort that. Good birdie. And that will move him to six under par. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, I'm down here on the 18th hole. This is Ian Poulter's next one. Didn't that look good for a long time? Oh, well played. Judging it beautifully. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Matt Kuchar finds himself with a one-shot advantage over the field. This player getting ready to play their final hole, just a shot off the pace. Second shot here on the 18th hole. Going with the 9-iron, I think. 
And a quality shot that. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. And this putt is for a final score of 65. I really hope this one drops for him. Big chance here. And with that, this player will win the event. They ended up tied for first, but after a countback, they come out on top. Congratulations. Absolutely. I, it's hard to believe that this player already got four victories on the season. Top of the game right now. It's impressive. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.